So if our goal is carbon zero beer and whiskey, what sort of route have you taken to try and get there? Well, um, because we're on the Yorkshire Wolds, our land is very uh, good and suitable for growing spring crops. I've over the last five to six years developed a sort of system of growing spring barley, cover crop, spring barley, cover crop. The spring barley is in the ground for 16 weeks, maybe 18 weeks uh, if it's a slow growing season, which means that the rest of the field has got nothing in it. Traditionally, it would have had nothing in it for the rest of the, uh, of the, rest of the year. Um, so now we've, we've got into, we're getting into that system and hopefully then the cover crop is actually in the ground for longer than the barley crop is. Um, and that means that we can be we can be taking in carbon and we can be taking in nitrogen and locking those away, increasing the earthworm populations by direct drilling and not disturbing the soil. So that's how I'm trying to work for that. And if the cover crop can actually sequester more nitrogen than the barley crop would use, then we're starting to get some way towards having a having a surplus of carbon sequestration, which can then offset part of the brewing process.